Hey everyone, welcome to Different Fins. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It's a catch and cook episode. Hopefully I'm going to catch a few fish, take them to shore, clean them up. What makes it interesting and fun is I'm going to be battering them with this. That's right, I'm cooking with crickets today. Yeah, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's crickets raised on a farm, baked, ground up into a flour, and I'm gonna be eating this. First, I need to catch some fish. Well, folks, I'm not sure how fun this day is actually gonna be. Um, as you can see, I'm still wearing my snowshoes. I took them off for a split second. I went up to my knees in water. Here, you can see. This is what we're dealing with. There's snow on the surface and that is just slushy water. Like really. It's been minus 35, minus 25 for weeks on end, but the snow we got on the ice insulates and we still have water. Nasty. It took the whole auger to get through that. Hopefully I find the school fast because uh, there isn't going to be any running and gunning today. It takes 10 minutes just to get one hole done. Brutal. That's it for today. Not the end of the video, I'm just done fishing today. Do you know that saying, live to fight another day? Well, that's what I'm doing. Uh, right before this, I used my snowshoes to pack a 50 foot by 50 foot square, push that insulating snow down into the watery slush, and hopefully after a couple cool nights, it'll lock up. But I'm just gonna show you what I'm dealing with. As you can see, I'm on my snowshoes. It looks uh, looks not that bad, right? But watch what happens when I step off. Here we go. Ugh. That is pretty much four inches of snow on top of slushy water. Ah, I'm getting a soaker. Ah. So, <laughs> ah. I'm gonna get out of here for the day. Hopefully the pad I uh, packed down locks up tight and I'll be back. But for today, I'm throwing in the towel. Well, I'm back. Made it back to my uh, square that I packed down. The slush seems to be pretty good right now. So stick it out. Hopefully catch a few fish. It's really windy today, as you could probably hear, but it's a warm wind. Temperature is plus nine today. That's like 48 Fahrenheit. This is the first day since November, so four months since I've seen any kind of temperatures above freezing. Feels great. It's a lot easier to focus on fishing when you're comfortable. comes fish on up the hole still lots of slush in the hole Here we go. Crappie. Good 
There's more down there, so. When you find the school, you gotta keep going. Come on. Just like that, another one. A little bit smaller, but that's okay. Will taste just as good. Get some of this slush out. Fishing for crappie is a lot like playing the board game Battleship. Just moving, striking, and hopefully you find it. I started way over there. I'm not sure if you can see my snowshoes. They're about 200 feet away. Then I moved down here. I literally covered an area almost as big as a football field just to find a couple fish. But it's what you gotta do. Fish on. Oh. So right there, here he, here he comes. Fish came back. Another nice eater. A little smaller than the other ones, but uh, Still a beautiful fish. Now that I caught a couple fish, I'm gonna head to shore, get a fire going, and cook them up with the crickets. Okay. All right. Time to do the cook portion of the catch and cook. I'm all set up back here. I got my PS Cook stick stove. I'm gonna get that lit up, get some oil in a pot, warming up, then I'll make my batter. All right, time to light this up. Stick stove is lit. I have one of the crappies filleted up. I'm just gonna eat one today. I'll take the other, other fish home to eat. To save time, I uh, pre-processed a bag of dry spruce. I'm just gonna get this nice and warm and then get that oil on the fire. While the oil is heating up, I'm gonna make my batter. In this little bag, I have black pepper, garlic powder, and seasoning salt. I'm about to add the, you know what. There we go, just put that off. All right. It almost smells like chocolate. Believe it or not, it's a, it has a very uh, sweet, 
organic smell to it. Anyway, here goes the cricket flour into my flavor. I'm just gonna shake it up and now it's ready for fish. Sounds like the oil is just about ready. I'm just cutting up the fish into smaller pieces. More surface area means more batter, which means more crickets. Mmm. Fish, fish is going in the batter. Sounds ready. Here we go. I'm surprised how dark it looks. It's not your typical flower. It's not a green. Here it goes. I can't back out now. It's crispy. It's a lot darker than you would get out of a like a wheat based flour, but let's see how it tastes. pretty good actually. It's really crispy. You can hardly tell that it's not a normal, you know, flour based batter. I would do it again. I'm going to finish this. Before I wrap this up, I want to give a huge shout out to GV snowshoes. Back in January, I had one of these rubber straps break and this being a winter of heavy snow, it was a huge loss. I uh, sent them an email asking if I could order a new part to replace it. They asked for pictures of the broken part and then free of charge sent me new bindings. So if it wasn't for that, uh, if it wasn't for that great company, I probably would still be waiting to go fishing. So, great company, and the next pair of snowshoes I buy are going to be GV. Well, that was interesting. It wasn't the first time I've eaten bugs. I mean, anybody that lives in this part of Canada has eaten a few uh, black flies, mosquitoes. They tend to fly in your mouth sometimes. But it's still crickets. Uh, I think people in the uh, Western world need to have a little bit more uh, open minds when it comes to things like this. A lot of people in this world need food and some cultures, insects are widely available, nutritious and affordable. So just here in North America, we don't really think of it as uh, food. With that being said, I had a lot of fun. Caught some fish, tried something new. See you at the next video.